Hey my friends, it's Mike, that helpful dad again with another video for you uh, on all of the streaming service TV options that are available. We're going to talk about things like AT&T Now, Sling TV, Hulu TV, etc. I'll go through them in just a moment. What the purpose of this video and who this video is for is if you are trying to get rid of cable TV and move to online streaming TV and you want to know what your options are and kind of a little bit how to get started, this video is perfect for you. <music> long video because we're going to review a lot of different options. We are going to talk about AT&T Now, used to be called DirecTV Now. We're going to talk about Fubo TV. We're going to talk about Hulu with Live TV. We're going to talk about Philo. We're going to talk about what happened with PlayStation View. We're going to talk about Pluto TV. We're going to talk about the Roku channel. We're going to talk about Sling TV. And we're going to talk about YouTube TV. And we're going to touch on Amazon Prime video channels as well as Netflix. Now, if you don't know who I am, uh, I am called The Helpful Dad here on YouTube, and I also have a website which is called That Helpful Dad. And on my website, I talk about a lot of different things, including streaming TV tips. And I have multiple different resources for you here, but we have lots of different reviews. You can see there's a whole section on how to watch TV online without cable TV. And in this particular video, I'm going to do like kind of a high-level overview of the different streaming TV apps. But if you want to have a, a more in-depth review of any one service that appeals to you, like if you want to know about Sling TV, come to the website and you can review the full review, audio and, I'm sorry, video as well as uh, the written article about Sling TV or any of the services that we're talking about here today. In addition, I've got a step-by-step -step guide for cutting the cord and getting ready to cable TV. So if you're an older person, I'm almost 50, if you're kind of like me and you don't, you're not really technology, you know, super savvy and you want to know how to do this, I did this a few years ago and so I published how to do it on my website. This step-by-step -step guide will walk you through, will ask you lots of questions and you can identify what's important to you and then you can cut the cord a little bit easier and get rid of cable TV and save a lot of money. It's a free guide and what the way to get it is to go to my website and you can sign up to get my email tips. It's completely free. And then you can download these individual guides right here. And then if you don't like my email tips, then you can just cancel and you still have the guide. So good for you. Uh, but I'm happy to be able to help you out. My goal is to help you to be able to do this. That's why I'm doing the video today. And if the video is helpful for you, I'd ask you to please give it a thumbs up, a like, share it with a friend. And of course, make sure you subscribe to this channel so you never miss one of my other videos. Now let's get started with AT&T now. So this used to be called DirecTV now and now it's called AT&T now this is a service that I used to have and I used to recommend when it was called direct TV now the problem is once AT&T bought it they've continued to raise the prices again and again and again and the quality of the service I don't think is as good that being said it is still a very good service if you want to have an experience similar to cable TV and you don't mind paying a little bit extra. Now when we review these individual plans we're going to talk about how many plan options are available like in terms of their packages like where it says view packages. We're going to talk about the featured packages and the other packages. We're going to talk about um, local channels, whether or not that's important to you to be able to watch live local news and sports. And again, I have individual videos about all these services in detail, but I'm going to give you a high-level overview. We're going to talk about if they have a DVR, if they have a free trial, and what my overall verdict is. So AT&T now has a lot of different options, and that's a good thing. So first of all, their primary plan is called the Plus Plan. It's $50 a month, gives you 45 channels. HBO is included, and that's certainly nice. And their second main plan is called the Max Plan. That's $70 a month, and that's HBO and Cinemax. And that's a little bit of money. If most people, when they're trying to cut the cord, don't want to spend that kind of money. But if you don't mind that, then you can get a lot of great options. They have other packages, too, and you can see them here. And if you're interested in any of these things, what I would say is, First, if, again, if you read my step-by-step -step guide, it's going to say find out what channels are important to you and then see which services offer those channels. AT&T very well could have all the channels that you want, but then again, maybe not. It's also important to know if they have the local channels you want. And so how do you find out if they have local channels? Well, sometimes they kind of bury this here. Let's find out where our local channels available, availability is here on, on AT&T. Let's see. Here it is. Look, see Czech Local and Regional Sports Networks. It's kind of hard to see that near the bottom, right above the Start Streaming button. We click on this, we enter in our zip code, and we can see what local channels. So if you want to watch local news and sports, you would need to know this. So they have ABC, CBS, and Fox, 
but they don't have NBC. So I wouldn't be able to watch live local NBC in my area for DirecTV. Now, now it could be different in your area, and you're going to want to make sure you check that, att.com backslash TV backslash locals. So other than that, though, what, what other benefits are there for AT&T Now? Well, AT&T Now does give the ability to have some premium add-ons. That includes HBO, Star, Showtime, Cinemax. Everything has a price, though, but you can certainly add to that. They also, so there are two streaming services that are the best for international viewers, and that is AT&T Now or Sling, which we'll talk about later. From a Spanish standpoint, you can add a lot of different options on for AT&T now, or from an international standpoint, you can also add a lot of options. Uh, and, if, and if you take a look and see, Vietnamese, Brazilian, Korean, and I believe even more than that is available. So you can really customize uh, the base packages that are available to add on to for your international packages for AT&T now. So that could be a great option. What are some of the negatives with AT&T now? Well, again, the price is, is negative, and they continue to raise the price, which is another negative. The DVR is not very good, so if you want to be able to record shows, that may or may not be important to you, but if you want to be able to record, it's only 20 hours of recording time, which is not very much, and you can only store it for 30 days. You can watch on two screens at any one time, so you can watch in one room and somebody else can watch another, unless you pay extra $5 a month, then you can watch on three streams. You can watch whether you're at home or on the go, but most of them will allow you to do that. I believe there's a seven day free trial, uh, and free trial, yeah, right here, seven days. But uh, all of the plans really have that. And just like all the other plans, you're not locked into any contract. You can try this for a month and then cancel. It's really totally up to you. And that's one of the great things about cutting the cord and moving to online TV. There's no long-term contracts, no two-year contracts or anything like that. So AT&T now, my verdict on them is actually going to be a thumbs down. But that's for my individual purposes. I think the cost is too high knowing what it was in the past. I don't like the DVR, and I don't like how AT&T is handling DirecTV now. So I have a whole other video on why I ditched DirecTV now or AT&T now. But if you're not subject to that bias, then AT&T now could be a good option for you. Okay? So that's AT&T now. Now let's move on to, let me cancel some of these things out here. Let's move on to Fubo TV. A lot of people don't know about Fubo TV. They thought it was, it used to be in the past prior to 2019, more just kind of sports related. But now it is a full-fledged streaming TV service. It has a lot of channels. Look at this, 195 channels in my area. Great coverage, obviously, for sports, but also for locals. So in my area, I could get CBS, Fox, and NBC. I wouldn't get ABC here. But they also have the NFL Network, Bean Sports, Nick Jr. These are hard to find channels. They also have the Red Zone. Now there's an additional fee. You have to get the Sports Plus package, but it is one of the few streaming services that would allow you to add the Red Zone as an add-on channel. That's a big thumbs up if you're like a fantasy football player or something. I would encourage you to check to see what's available in your area. They have some add-on options. Uh, you could see these as well too from an entertainment or a news standpoint. And again, um, you can see all the plans that are available. So the basic plan for Fubo is 55 a month, 70 plus channels, that includes 4K channels, 30 hours of DVR, and two streams at once. You can then um, customize that if you want to. You can go to the family plan, which would give you 500 hours of DVR and three streams. And you'll notice this is where you're getting things like the NFL Network. And again, you could add on the Sports Plus package, and you could get the Red Zone and some other things too. Again, I have a whole individual review on Fubo TV. If you want to go deeper into Fubo, Fubo TV, make sure that you watch that video or go over to our website and read the Fubo TV review right there in the middle of the screen. But going back to Fubo TV, you can see the Ultra Plan. It gives you that Sports Plus package add-on included. It gives you uh, Showtime as well too. I don't believe HBO is an option, but we'll talk about we'll talk about what to do that you can do with Amazon Prime channels for anything that's missing as an individual channel on whatever streaming service you choose. You might be able to supplement that with Amazon or Netflix. So, no HBO, I don't think, is not an option here. Uh, but if I'm wrong on any of this, please put this in the comments because, again, I'm just an average Joe like you and we're all kind of sharing knowledge together. Fubo, though, is a thumbs up because of the quality of the service, the fact that it's in 4K, it's great for sports options, and they also have an, a, um, a Spanish add-on as well, too, um, although not as many international options as, say, like AT&T Now would have. 
So listen, if you are enjoying this video, it would really help me out if you would give the video a like or share it with a friend. That would uh, help me to know the video is being well received and then I can continue to make content like this to help you out. So go ahead and give this video a like right now. Thank you so much for doing that. Okay, so we moved on to Fubo. I do give Fubo a thumbs up. We talked about the DVR. We talked about the number of streams that are available as well, too. I believe there is a free trial with Fubo. Um, and, yeah, it says right here, free trial as well, too. So a really good, nice option, quality option with Fubo. Now let's talk about Hulu. Now there is basic Hulu, which is just like... Um, you know, pre-recorded TV shows, not live TV, it's not really, basic Hulu is not an option to get rid of cable completely, but Hulu with live TV is an option. It's $45 a month, it has a one week free trial, and you can get live news, local news, and sports as well too. So let's look at a little bit more. We want to see the channels that's available in our area, so middle of the screen, view channels in your area, we enter our zip code, and so here I would be able to get ABC, CBS, Fox, and NBC. So all of the locals now, isn't that nice? Also have a lot of other channels as well too, including movie channels, family channels, etc., etc. There are some add-ons, so we could add on Cinemax, HBO, Showtime, or Stars. But there's entertainment add-ons and Spanish add-ons. Hulu, I believe, at the time of this video recording, is the number two most popular streaming TV service right now behind Sling TV. A lot of people have Hulu TV. A lot of people love Hulu TV. It's not as customizable as an AT&T now would be. Um, doesn't have as many sports options as Fubo, but from a basic, you know, getting rid of cable TV standpoint, Hulu could be very good for you. Uh, they have a, t a DVR, which gives you 50 hours of storage and you can customize some things here as well too so let's take a look and see what we can do to customize so there are premium networks we talked about HBO fifteen dollars a month Showtime eleven etc you can add on to get up two hundred hours of DVR by paying a little bit more I think it's six or nine dollars to get uh, more DVR space you can go to unlimited screens while you're watching at home that's three screens uh, while you're on the go or unlimited at home so that's nice and there's various networks that you could add on as well too that we talked about here and they do offer a free trial Fubo is very good I'm sorry Hulu is very good the problem that I found when I had Hulu is they have a channel guide that is just not very easy to use and the number one complaint about Hulu is the interface in other words when you're trying to find what to watch it's not easy to find stuff but again remember you can try this service it's a free trial or you could even sign up for a month and if you don't like it like I had it I didn't like it so I canceled it um, so you could do that too so you're not locked into anything so I would encourage you if you think Hulu might be an option for you then try it and see if it works for you now I'm going through a lot of like questions as we talk here today and I wrote an article on my blog called 10 things to consider before you cut the cord if you're like an older person like me and you're just getting into the you know getting rid of cable TV I did this a few years ago and I, I had to kind of figure all this out on my own well I put an article on my blog with all these questions to ask yourself to help you identify which service is best for you for example do you want to watch local news and sports if that's not important to you then the, the, the channels that I'm about to talk to you in a moment could be a great way to save money. But if you need local coverage, let's say you needed NBC. Remember, AT&T now didn't have NBC in my area, so I couldn't. that's not an option for me. Uh, do you want a DVR? Does that even matter to you? Uh, is a channel guide important? I, I asked a lot of these questions on my blog, and I encourage you to read that because that can help you and save you a lot of time. Look, we're talking about 10 different services here today. It took a lot of time to, to go through all that stuff. I can help you narrow it down faster when you read that article. So again, go to my blog and check that out. The next um, service is Philo TV. A lot of people don't know about Philo, P-H-I-L-O. Philo could be great if, and this is a big if, you don't care about local TV. If you don't care about local news and sports, then you can pay $20 a month for 60 channels, 58, almost 60. And you can get things like Nick Jr. You can get things like HTV, Food Network, etc. Philo is fantastic. It has a seven-day free trial. It is a great option for those people who don't care about local channel coverage. I'm not going to spend a lot of time on it because on my blog I have a full review of Philo TV. But the real takeaway for Philo is 
if you don't care about locals or you get your locals through an antenna or some other way, then use Philo and save yourself a lot of money. The next thing we're going to talk about is PlayStation View. Now by the time you're watching this video, PlayStation View may not be an option anymore. And that really is a shame because PlayStation View, in my opinion, was actually the number one streaming TV services. It's the app that I had. It is the one I most recommended. And it had a lot of options for you. It gave you all of the locals, in my area at least. It gave you great sports coverage, including the NFL Red Zone. It gave you everything that I wanted. Unfortunately, the owners of PlayStation View, Sony, claimed they weren't making enough money and they had a different business interest they wanted to focus on, so PlayStation View was being shut down, and by the time you watch this, may already be shut down, and that is a real shame because it was a fantastic service, but we're not going to spend any more time on it because it's probably not even an option while you watch this video. Next is Pluto TV. Now, Pluto TV, I'm going through their channel guide now, so this is incredible. First of all, Pluto TV is free. So uh, that alone is a like if you like Pluto TV and you like free. Uh, if you don't know about Pluto TV, it's a free app. You can download it to your smart TV, your Amazon Fire Stick, Roku, etc. It's not going to be an option if you want local news and sports. But if you don't care about locals or if you get them through another app, there's really no reason to not have Pluto. Pluto TV you need to have. It has so many great niche channels. Let's just go through a little bit of it here. And I've got a full review on Pluto TV, but I mean, there's the James Bond channel. There is a lot of gaming channels. If you like watching people play video games and you don't want to watch it on YouTube, you can watch a full channel on Minecraft or something. All these horror movie channels. There are all the MTV and BET channels are here. Uh, there are tons of news channels. It won't necessarily be local news, but still live news. Like here's CBS News Live. Bloomberg TV is there. And then look at all these niche channels, the Adams Family Channel, the um, Detective Channel, Fear Factor Channel. This is all free, the Doctor Who Channel. Tons of comedy options. They have lots of sports options. There's the NFL Channel. It's not called the NFL Network, but it's very similar content to the NFL Channel. That's pretty cool. Um, they also have um, even just like little niche things, like they have something called Slow TV where you can kind of ride a train through the countryside of Europe. They've got a lot of different music channels, so like internet music channels, they have that here as well. There's that slow TV, by the way. Food channels, really great food channels. Tech channels, there's those gaming TV channels I talked about. The CNET channel, IGN channel. Um, kids channels, look at that. There's the Nick Jr. channel. So Pluto's really come a long way because Viacom bought them in 2019 and really changed everything. This is all free, at least at the time I'm recording this, this video, it's free. Latino channels, and again, there's these music channels, all these internet music channels, and it's all free. So there's really no reason, regardless if you have another streaming TV service, you need Pluto TV too, okay? Next is the Roku channel. So Roku is an option, it's a free channel if you have a Roku streaming media player. So I'm not sure how you're watching your streaming TV service, whether you have an app on your TV or you have the Amazon Fire Stick or the Google Chromecast or Apple TV, or maybe you have a Roku. It's something little that you plug in to your TV. And if you have Roku, you could get this channel on your Roku device and it gives you free TVs and, uh, and movies and TV shows, including some live TV, although it's not local TV. Again, it's free. If you have a Roku, you might as well have this channel as well, too. It's just another option. Okay. Again, if this video is helpful for you, please do me a favor. Give it a like, share, subscribe. I have to ask these things of you, and I appreciate you doing these things for me because this helps me to continue providing this type of content for you. Okay? So I appreciate your efforts in helping me as well, too. And again, if I'm saying something that is incorrect or you notice something I didn't say, please add it to the comments so we can all learn together, okay? A lot continues to change about streaming TV services. The stuff that was available in 2019 and what the cost and the different plans is different in 2020. So we have to make sure we help each other stay abreast. The next one is Sling. Sling is the market leader in terms of streaming TV apps. It's the really the main uh, original one that kind of made streaming TV popular. Sling is a big thumbs up if you want to be able to customize your plan and make it individual to you. And I'm going to show, show what that means in a moment. So first of all, it's a very low cost option in many cases. So there's three main plans. One's called Orange. And it says 15, but it's normally 25 a month. 
and these are the channels that you get with the orange plan and then there's also the blue plan which gives you a little bit more including things like Nick Jr see that there uh, and then there's also the combination orange and blue which is forty dollars a month but really where sling TV shines is as they're kind of like the base packages and then what you can add on to it and customize it to make it your own so look at all the customization options so again you're gonna have a base package fifteen or twenty five or forty dollars a month and then you would add on these little things if you want them so if you wanted say Nick Jr. Disney Jr. Boomerang you could add on the kids extra package right whether depending on what your base package is what you need to add on if you really like a lot of news look at all these news channels that you can add on right here as well too and depending on the plan that you have there's there's euro news uh, there's just so many different options again I have a full video and article in depth about sling TV this is just kind of a broad overview here lifestyle add-ons we can see these here as well too so again you get your base plan and you add on the extra plan heartland add-on this is like some fishing and rodeo stuff as well too Hollywood add-ons Turner classic movies that's a nice one and then Sling is the number one streaming TV option for international viewers. They have, of course, dedicated Spanish add-ons, and, and I'm talking about a ton of content that's available here, okay? Uh, depending on which base package you have. But look at the international plans. The international plans for Sling, um, and really, to, get, to go in-depth on international, you want to come up to the very top right-hand corner where it says Sling International, and you can look in-depth and in all, look at this, Arabic, Bengali, Brazilian. Look, look at all the options that's available for you from an interna if you're an international viewer. Sling is incredible from that regard. So if you're an international viewer, you've got to really go with Sling. So what's the problem with Sling? The problem with Sling is the local channel coverage. They don't have great local content. <laughs> If you want to be able to watch locals with Sling, they recommend you have an antenna. Well, I mean, and they'll even come out and install the antenna in some cases for you to, if you sign up for a certain service. And that's very nice. And I know some people that have this, and they do like it. But, you know, I've got five, six TVs in the house, you know, multiple different people wanting to watch. And I also live in Florida where the weather is pretty bad, and, and antennas just aren't for me. And plus, I'm older. I don't want to deal with an antenna. I would just rather have a streaming TV app that gives me this an experience similar to cable TV I turn on my TV I don't mess with any uh, antennas but so for me sling doesn't work in that regard there's only a couple options for locals that are available sometimes it's Fox and NBC sometimes it's ABC it really depends on your area you can look here where it says find my locals and you'll be able to see what's available in your area I'm telling you it won't be all the locals that may or may not matter to you if it matters to you sling may not work uh, if it does not matter to you, then Sling it would probably be my most recommended option for you. Okay, uh, Sling does have a DVR. Sling does have a free trial. Sling does offer multiple streams. All these things are answered for you on uh, on the website. And, and again, in my individual um, review of Sling, we can go into more detail there. The cloud DVR, if you want it, is five dollars a month. Um, if you're interested in Sling, again, read my individual review, the guide to Sling on my website and you can learn more about sling there and sling is for me is going to come down to whether or not you want the locals the next one is YouTube TV now YouTube TV is actually uh, let me take this off here for you sorry YouTube TV is actually because of the death of PlayStation view YouTube TV is the service that I'm now recommending as the best streaming TV option in 2019 and into 2020 YouTube has continued to improve YouTube TV and it is I believe the fastest growing um, streaming TV app right now so what does it offer it only offers one plan which is that's kind of a negative but it is a great plan fifty dollars a month seventy channels and let's take a look and see what channels are available so in um, in uh, my area let's find out yeah in my area the locals that are available are ABC CBS Fox and NBC so there's all the locals it gives me all the networks well it doesn't give me all the networks because it doesn't have NFL network it also doesn't have the NFL red zone as an option so that's kind of not so great but sometimes you can't have everything right and they have good news coverage good lifestyle channels as well too good family channels although you'll notice no Nick Jr. there and you have the option to add on some things now you'll notice one of the add-on options although you can get Showtime and Stars and Shutter and Acord TV etc and some NBA options 
they don't have the option to add on HBO. But I have a solution for you, and I'll talk about that in a moment with the Amazon Prime channels. YouTube TV, though, is great because it has um, unlimited DVR. That means record as much as you want. No storage space limits. You keep it for up to nine months. You can have six individual family accounts, three streams at once. Um, there's a two-week free trial, so that's nice. You can watch it pretty much on any device at home or away. Now, one of the problems that used to be with YouTube is, is Amazon and YouTube used to fight. So you couldn't watch YouTube TV on an Amazon Fire Stick, which is one of the most popular ways to watch streaming TV apps. It's a little device you plug into your TV, again, called an Amazon Fire Stick. I have a whole other video about that. Um, but so I have all Fire Sticks on my TV, so I couldn't watch YouTube TV. Well, now that battle between Amazon and YouTube is over, and you can watch YouTube TV on your Amazon Fire Stick. So YouTube TV really is the number one service I'm recommending now. I hope they will eventually get the NFL um, Red Zone as an option. Even without that, I still think it's overall the best option available because it gives me all of the local channels I want and the majority of the other channels I want to. So let's finish up here by talking about Amazon Prime Video channels and Netflix. Although it, these are not necessarily apps that would give you an experience similar to cable TV because we can't watch live local sports and news on them, uh, they are good supplements. So if you're an Amazon Prime member, you have access to something called Prime Channels. So let's say I have YouTube TV and I want to have HBO, but HBO is not on YouTube TV. I could come over to Amazon Prime Channels and I could add on Showtime, Stars, HBO as an individual channel for $15 a month and I'm on not locked in, I can keep it for one month or, or cancel it um, or keep it for more. I can add a HBO and so it's going to appear as an app on my Fire, uh, my Fire Stick interface or Roku or Apple TV or whatever you're using. So you can supplement the main app that you have with anything that you might need by adding it as a Prime Video channel. And again, I have more, uh, a longer video about Prime Video if you want to learn more about it. I have a whole beginner's guide to Prime Video. It's on my, um, on my website as well as on our YouTube channel. That's why you want to make sure that you do subscribe so that you get notified when any of these things come out. You'll be able to get notified of that as well too. But Prime Channels is an option. And then finally, Netflix. Let's not forget Netflix. So depending on how many streams that you want, and I've got full guide to Netflix on my, eight, on my uh, YouTube and on my blog. For $10, 12 $15 a month, there's fantastic content on Netflix. I'll be honest with you, we watched Netflix and Amazon more than we watch the you know regular local stuff. There's just so much great stuff here. So let's look at how this works. If you did look at my step-by-step -step guide, one of the things that will tell you is what are the services that you want, what channels, and then how do you want to supplement it. So I am going to have YouTube TV, so that's $50 a month. I've got sometimes, but not currently, I add in an, a Showtime or an HBO for 15 a month, but then I cancel it when I don't want it anymore. And then we have Netflix. So YouTube is 50, Netflix for us is 15 because we have four streams. So that's $65 a month, plus my internet, which is $50 a month. So for $115, I'm getting everything that I want from a viewing standpoint as opposed to the 200 I was paying when I had Verizon Fios or Frontier. That's a pretty good deal in my book. And that's the way streaming TV services work. You pick what you want, you're not locked into anything, and then you get a chance to pick and choose and, and figure out exactly what you want. So I'm going to pause this video here. I'm going to encourage you to go to my website, thathelpfuldad.com, or subscribe to my YouTube channel, and that way you'll get all the videos that I have. I've got individual videos. So if there's any one service that you think is interesting to you, make sure you read the in-depth review of that service so that you can learn more about it. And remember, you can't really make any mistakes because you're not locked into any contracts. I hope this video has been helpful for you. Again, my name is Mike That Helpful Dad. If it has been helpful, make sure you subscribe to this YouTube channel. Make sure you like the video and that you share it with a friend. And if there's any information that you'd like to share with me so that I can learn too, please put that in the comments section. Thank you for watching and God bless you.